Have you ever wanted to build a coaching business, but you had no clue where to start? Well, I'm going to put together a series of videos teaching you how to build your coaching business. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher, former business person. Before we get into coaching, though, what I want to do is I want to tell you a story. You know, when I first went into teaching, I taught high school math, and I really enjoyed kids. I mean, that's what I was there for. And I ended up teaching in a, in a district I had honors kids, and then I had a class, the freshmen coming in that were the lowest kids in school, and usually were troubled kids. But then I'd get them back as seniors. And we'd have many different people or characters inside these classes. And they were really kind of fun classes. They just weren't very good students. So my job at that time was really to give them some math so they could get through high school, but then also keep them in my room, but then teach them life lessons. Well, this was probably, oh, I had one class and it was probably three years after we were these kids have graduated. My wife and I really like to ride bikes. And there's a town about 20 miles away that you could park at one spot and you get on different bike trails. What we like to do was go for a 20 mile ride and come back. We'd always do it on a weekend and come back and have lunch somewhere. That was our date. You know, we totally enjoyed it. It was kind of a fun thing. We'd, we'd bike about 11 o'clock in the morning, get back in about maybe 1, 1 30 and try to go to a couple places where there'd be no people around because it was after the lunch. Well, one day we're sitting there getting ready for our bike trip. And I heard this, Hey, Mr. Nelson. And I turn around here. It's one of my students that graduated three or four years before. You know, I said hello, walked up to him, introduced my wife to him. And we started talking about what was going on. And he was really kind of, things weren't going right. You know, he struggled in school. He's really smart. Just didn't like school, didn't like discipline, didn't like being told what to do, just didn't like to fit in anywhere. So after we talked for a while, my wife and I went on our bike ride and we didn't see him for a while. But then all of a sudden I started paying attention. He would show up to this spot very often at about 11 o'clock. And I'd always talk to him. And his life was going okay, but not where he wanted it to go. Things just weren't being put together with him. He was married, couldn't really keep a job. Uh, he had, because of the person he was, he was not really in trouble, but he used to smoke a lot. He'd quit. He used to drink a lot when he quit. He just couldn't get a job and things were really bothering him. So one day I said, hey, how about, rather than us meeting on this bike trail, what if you and I hook up somewhere once a week and we'll just talk and see what's going on? And we started it. And we did it for about three months. But what was so interesting, one, is that it was okay for me to ask him questions, and I was good at asking questions. But he was really frustrated because when you get in these companies, he just didn't, one, like the discipline, as I mentioned early, didn't like being told what to do. He was a hard worker, but he's always being put on these very low jobs that wasn't really going after his intellect because, like I said earlier, the kid was really smart. So my question was, well, if you had a choice, where do you want to work? And he told me. He said, but I get my resume in there. I can't even get in the interview. He says, it's really frustrating because that company is what I really want to do. And I know I'd be good at it. And I know I could help them. The kid was kind of a technical kid. So it was so interesting because I knew somebody there. I said, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Let me call and see if I can get you an interview. And I called my friend, told him about my kid. And he says, you know, 
we've seen his resume. And we've wondered about him, but we've also heard stories about his background. And um, at that time, this was, oh, in the, holy cow, 80s, 90s, probably. You know, he had some a neck tattoo and he just didn't fit into their uh, culture, he told me. And I looked at him and I said, you're making a mistake. You should give this kid an interview and then give him a chance. Because he wants to work here. And he's really intelligent. You just got to give him some, give him the guidelines, but then give him leeway for let him to use his talents. Well, he did get a job there. And to tell you the truth, I didn't see him anymore on weekends or we had stopped talking to each other. And it was probably four years later, five years later, uh, I ran into him in this town. And he came up and he was smiling. So, Mr. Nelson, I got to tell you something. I said, you saved my life. And I went, what? I said, you saved my life. I went to work for that company. And do you know what? I'm one of their supervisors right now. I make more money than I ever thought I could in my life. And it was all because you reached out and talked to your friend. And that's who I report directly to. And we have a really good relationship. It, you know, it's just unbelievable. This kid, you know, at school, he is such a troublemaker, but nobody really saw through him. And all I did was reach out and listen. And then as we started meeting for the week and kind of hear his dreams and what he wanted to accomplish and what he was good at, he was just going to be a fit in this company. So why did I tell you this? Because when you're starting a coaching business, stories are so important. And you have stories in your life where you've helped people. So the first thing you need to do is you need to reach inside, get a notepad out, and start writing about things in your life and develop a story bank. Because as you start reaching out to clients, you're going to have stories that are going to relate to them. See, I've got clients because this story made sense to them. Whether it was themselves, one of their friends, one of their kids, they understood what my strengths were and they wanted to hear part of that. So how do you build a coaching business from scratch? The first thing you do is build a bank of stories. Go back in your life. Write down your experiences and start building up your stories. We'll see you on the next video.